got a dopamine rush, got a major league crush when you're next to me. Got my heart upon my sleeve, can I hide the way I feel when you're next to me, girl? Welcome back to the vlog. It's Thursday. We're just gonna chill out today. We're not gonna do anything. I just made breakfast? Lunch? Brunch? It's a salad basically, but you just use sesame oil as like the dressing and then you put kimchi in it. It's so good. I don't think I've mentioned this in a video, but I want to start upcycling clothes and then selling them. So that's why I've been practicing my embroidery. I want to figure out what I want to look for when I go to secondhand stores and then the designs I want to put on them. I am going to eat first though, so I will do that after I eat this. My boyfriend had to do something at work really quick, so we're back here and I'm just waiting for him in the car. I've been editing Thursday. I've been editing next. No, yeah. What's today? Today's Thursday. I've been editing next monday's video i already exported it i just need to upload it to youtube and make my thumbnail i want to go to sonic they keep on telling lies that is how we stay just made that kimchi fried rice and now I'm getting ready to go. I'm wearing an outfit that was in one of my TikTok transition videos. I really need a full length mirror, but good enough. This sage green top is from, I got it at Planet Aid, but it's Eddie Bauer. These pants are from Urban, but I got it on Depop. Anyway, wow, go off hair. It's a little wet still. Is that in my hair? Oh, it's my fucking car. Okay, we're going back to like that same DuPont Circle area. Like that's the station we have to get off. And then I don't know, he has some ideas. We're just gonna do what he planned. I bought a serger with cover stitch last night. It was so expensive but I got it on a payment plan, so things are happening. I'm just going to let my phone charge before we head out and I'll see you when we get to wherever we're going. to that mansion and then we just walked around DuPont Circle, nothing crazy. Then we picked up Mahina and we're back home. And it's almost time for Maggie Lindemann's concert and I'm so fucking excited. I'm not going to be doing anything else except screaming at this concert, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs>
I looked up and it was 10.48 all of a sudden. What the fuck? I woke up at like 7.30 and I've been embroidering ever since. Literally don't want to do anything except embroider. It's like 1 p.m. I can finally start talking to you guys. I was waiting for my boyfriend to wake up and for the washing machine to stop. So here I am. Sundays and Wednesdays are my dedicated self-care days. Sundays I focus more on my hair. So I just wanted to walk you through the new routine I've been doing. My hair, <laughs> I have had a kind of dismissive attitude towards my hair i guess um when i was a kid up until eighth grade i had straight hair and then it started to get frizzy in high school or so i thought it was frizzy i thought that because i had straight hair i didn't really have to pay attention to it and i just kind of lived with what it was so i was brushing my hair right after getting out of the shower when it was still wet and brushing it in the morning and of course it turned into a frizzy mess. Like I said, I'm going to be walking you through what I've been doing recently. So I started using Lush's Roots hair treatment, I think about a month and a half ago. You put it on dry hair. So in the morning I wake up and just put it on. Then that sits for 20 minutes. Then I hop into the shower because you need to shampoo out the product. I use Shiny Leaf's DHT blocker. You gently massage it into your scalp and you need to wait two to three minutes for it to sink in. Then I follow up with Shiny Leaf's DHT blocker conditioner. I love this so much too. You also let that sit for two to three minutes. And I rinse everything out, hop out of the shower. I also learned from TikTok to spray leave-in conditioner around your crown to make sure your hair is moisturized. My leave-in conditioner isn't a liquidy spray, it's more of a creamy spray. So I just spray it on my hands and then work it out to my fingers and then kind of lightly tossle. And I use hair oil on my actual hair. So I scrunch that in when it's wet and then this is my first time trying to plop. I don't know if plopping is really needed for my hair type or I just did it fucking wrong, I, I don't know. So she's plopped up. Once my hair is a little less damp, I go in with my hair serum. I talked about this hair serum in my last video as well, but that's pretty much my hair routine once I get out of the shower. If my hair is dry, I go in with uh, Waze Wave Spray to try to just enhance it. And then I've also been using Lush's Sea Spray at my roots. Um, I'm still playing around with that. I'm still trying to figure out what the vibes are with that. Okay, and off the hair topic, I also got another exciting package. I told you guys on Friday, I think, I think, I think it was Friday. I bought a serger and it came, so I have it. I've been searching for a serger that could do cover stitch for months. And I was kind of set on a brother one that I saw but I was looking at more articles. This is a Singer Serger with Overlock Setting Machine. She's a little heavy. That's it, foot pedal, uh, more attachments. They gave extra feet, a dust cover, and I'm just so excited. This looks so legit. I just finished embroidering. Does it look bare? Should I go all the way up? I think I already know the answer to that. I think I am going to go all the way around. That's just gonna be annoying. It's okay. here thank you so much for watching thank you for subscribing please like share comment do whatever you want 
and I will see you guys in the next vlog.